Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to my home worm farming channel. If you are looking for a friendly, helpful worm community, you are in the right place. Today we're going to look at my red wigglers in the worm factory. And the status of this system is that we have one new tray from last month that's shredded cardboard. And we also have a two month old layer that is not shredded. Then one tray that has an avocado experiment going on pre-harvest and our feeding tray. And looking at this right now, it doesn't look like it's ready to harvest, uh, but we are going to start a new layer today to kind of help because I think everything's slowing down because it's slowly getting to winter. So let's have a look at this. This is the pre-harvest and this gets chow, trying not to put any chunks in there or anything. The goal is for them to finish everything that is on this layer and then they will move down to the area that has the uh, people food scraps. Now, again, for the second month in a row, it does not look like we're ready to harvest yet. So I'm gonna give them a quick fluff here and set them aside and have a look and see what the feeding layer looks like. Okay, so this is the layer that we fed last time and they did get like a pureed feed and this is also not done, but quite honestly, it doesn't look a lot different than the layer below. I think it's just the lower temperatures. What do you think? Is, you know, do they have some sort of a calendar built into the worms? Or is it just because the temperature is slowly getting lower? Now I am trying to do something to combat that. One of which is I put a light down here for my overwintered peppers. And it is, I'm not sure what kind of it is, it was given to me, but it puts off a lot of heat. So I'm hoping maybe that'll heat up this part of the basement and the worms can uh, get going a little bit. But again, this one's not ready. Here is the layer that has never had any people food and it has our experiment that has just avocado pits in it. There are some worms down here, but not many. As is expected, there's not a lot of anything for them to eat down here except for the cardboard, but you can tell they are getting into it a little bit. Everything still smells like wet cardboard instead of, you know, finished castings. So we're just gonna have to keep going the way we're going until we get something to harvest. Okay, here is the next layer down with the cardboard that was not shredded. And of course, it's going to be easier to see the worms here because they won't be kind of tied in with the strips of cardboard that have been ground. But you can see they're getting a little bit of mycelium in here. And I think that grit did help. You can still see they are making castings in here. Um, but not, obviously, considering that this was from August, I think. I'll put it up there when the dates are of the different layers. So I'm just gonna mix this up and then I'm gonna put more grit on here so that these guys can have a little bit of help with this, I don't know, experiment that I'm doing. Here's the layer we started last time. Now this is just cardboard. It wasn't even um, cardboard that had been sit for a while. It's not my normal prepared bedding. It was just cardboard. And you can tell there are quite a few worms down here. I can't bring you with me because the lights burned out over the top of where this lives, but I'm going to go grab the handful of worms that are down in the sump. <laughs> Funny thing is the stuff down in the sump actually looks better than the other layers. I'll put that on top with the pre-harvest tray and put them to the side. So what I'm going to do next is I am going to start a whole new layer and this is the prepared bedding so maybe that'll make a difference. And it looks exactly like everything else. Looks, you can hear the puppies in the background. Okay, so I'm going to restack everything and then we'll get them fed up. Okay, here we are back at the, the feeding tray and I'm going to put those worms that were in the sump up here. <clears throat> Let them help out a little bit. I did add some more of the shredded cardboard to the sump area 
just so the worms have some place to go and not dry out or whatever. Okay, so it is pumpkin season, so let's get to it. So we've got a good feeding for them today. As fast as they go through pumpkin, I don't think it's going to be any problem. This also might help go ahead and get the, the worms out of the layer below. I know this looks like a lot, but if it does heat up, they won't have any problems getting away from it. Now let's bury this a little here. There we go. They are going to love that. Now let's look at the pre-harvest tray. So I still think this has a lot farther to go. I think the moisture is really great. You can see that it is really ideal in here. I'm just thinking that maybe I did not give them enough of the, the chow to make all this paper something they wanted to get into. So I'm going to give them a little heavier dose of the alfalfa meal slash grit. I'm going to really scruff that into everything and hopefully that will entice them to really get at it. Get a few pieces of big stuff, we'll hide that down deep. Okay, now for those of you who have stuck around this long, let's take a look at the basement wormery and see what I'm been up to. All right, I don't know if you can see it very well or not, but we've got today, 11 10, 10 13, 9 15, 8 18, 7 21, and 6 23 24. Now let's take a look at the rest of everything. I've really shredded this whole downstairs. Got my seed starting mess here, all of my buckets and containers. I have my overwintering peppers, just trying to get these super hots to ripen up just a little bit more here in the basement before I cut the plant down. And then the not so super hots, these are just regular peppers. Now, what I have to do is I have to move this big metal shelving unit so that I can put in the vermi, I don't know if you call it a vermi bag. The vermi bag wedge system will fit right here once I am able to get some help to move this big heavy shelving unit. So I gotta move all the junk here and then install that. And then that will become part of the regular playlists. It'll start all brand new. It's a wedge system like blue over here no, really, I've trashed this basement. So it's a wedge system like blue, only it's made out of fabric and it's on a stand like a vermi bag. Interesting, right? Let me know what your thoughts are on the concept of that. If you're interested in the worm tower, I will put a link to that down below. And if you're interested in more red wiggler or tower system videos, I have a playlist right over here. And if you don't want to see that, YouTube thinks you're going to like this video right up here. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.